Hi guys, welcome back to Daily Mix. A few of you have been asking us questions recently, so we thought we'd do a Pixie Woo Masterclass. Today's Masterclass is Perfect Foundation. Okay, Nick is going to start with the lovely Chi Chi, who's got darker skin, as you can see. What are you doing, Nick? I am going to spritz her skin with a little bit of Fix Plus. If you just close your eyes for me, I'm just going to run this over the skin just to help the moisturiser that's already been put on there to come back to the surface. I am then going to ask my sister for a buffing brush and Studio Tech Foundation. Uh, Can I go for an NC50 to start off with? Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Now, Nick's going to have to use a few different colours on Chi Chi skin because you find with the darker skin tones that often there's darker tones around the forehead and the chin and lighter tones through the centre there. So if Nick were to match to the forehead, then Chi Chi would look really dark through the centre of her face, which wouldn't be flattering. So I am assuming that Nick's actually going to use two foundation colours. I you? am, yes. So I'm taking the cooler tone just through the cheekbones, down the nose, anywhere that I can see is slightly more of a yellow undertone to the skin. And that's a perfect colour, actually. Nick's chosen to use Studio Tech because it comes in so many colours. MAC are like the gods for darker skin tones. Um, they really are, and they do so many different types of textured foundation as well, so you've got something for everyone. If you have a very oily skin, Studio Fix could be perfect. Studio Tech, if you have a normal skin. Um, face and body, if you just want the slightest bit of coverage. Perfect. Can I now have NW45? Sure. Thank you very much. I'm just keeping it with the same brush but using a slightly different colour. So you can see how beautifully the tones kind of blend together. It looks so natural and you're also keeping the lovely character that the skin already has, the different skin tones. It's such a shame when people put one flat colour on and it can look really, really ashy and they also lose the texture of the skin because it's so beautiful. I'm just going to take that a tiny bit on the top of the lip. And I'm not even going to use a concealer here because Chi Chi's got such lovely skin, a concealer is just going to be too much. So, powder please, sister. I've got a uh, deep dark block powder. Lovely. So all we're going to do now is we don't want to add any more product to this makeup, we just want to hold it in place. So a deep dark block powder is perfect just for dusting over. Block powder is another product from MAC. It's a brilliant product because it doesn't have any pigment in it. So the more you apply it, it's not going to build up like a mask. Um, it's also got great oil absorbing properties. So it's brilliant if you want to touch up during the day to prevent shine. And there you have the perfect skin. Moving on to Chrissy with a medium skin tone. Nick, what do you want? Oh, what have you got for me? Well, Chrissy has lovely skin already. It doesn't need much coverage, so I think we'll go face and body yep. by MAC again. Sorry, Chi Chi, I'm going to just turn my back to you. <laughs> what colour do you want? C C6, N7? Um, C6, I yep. think. Thank you very much. And Shake what brush? This product. Um, a stippling brush would be nice. Sure. Whoops. Let's check this colour. It's lovely. Nick's chosen to use Face and Body, which is another foundation from MAC. It's a brilliant foundation if you've got perfect skin like Chrissy has and you need very little coverage. But equally, you can get great coverage with face and body by building it up is brilliant for that. The other great thing about face and body is that it comes in so many different shades. It comes in the cool colours and the warm colours, so there's something for everyone there. Now I've chosen to use a stippling brush to apply this because it gives you a really light coverage and you can buff it in quite a lot. Now, you know, this is pretty effortless. What do I need to do? We do need to add a tiny bit of concealer just under the eyes. So can I have, I think an NC42. You have an NC42. Oh, lovely. Thank you. And, um, yeah, that will be perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Preempted you. me too well. Now, I'm actually going to mix this with a little bit of the foundation because I don't want it too heavy coverage. 
Well, this concealer that I'm using is MAC Select Cover Up. The reason I really like this concealer is because it sets quite matte. Now, a lot of concealers, they will really crease under the eyes. And I can already see that Chrissy gets a little bit of oiliness under her eyes. So I want to use something that's going to set quite matte. And uh, this product, whereas it, it's, it allows you to move the product quite quickly, it will stay put afterwards. I'm going to take that around the nose a little bit as well. And then Chrissy's got a tiny, weeny little blemish that I'm just going to conceal as well. And just by pushing that over the skin, it's going to conceal it a little bit better than wiping it over the skin. Right, Sam, can I have a powder? Yep. I assume you need a brush as well? Yes, please. Okay, here you go. I've got here for you NW35. Oh, perfect. Now, the reason I've chosen NW35 press powder is because we used a yellow foundation. So we used a C foundation, and now we're setting it with a pinky toned um, powder and the reason is sometimes if you put a yellow over a yellow all of a sudden it becomes very orange So it kind of neutralizes it by just putting that pink back in That looks so beautiful. Don't look like you've got anything on And there you have the finished medium skin tone Right now on to our final model Gemma. Gemma has uh, Caucasian skin and she's quite oily. Did you say Gemma? Right? Okay, so we've chosen uh, to start with a bit of oil control lotion you mind me using my hands to apply this? Okay. Thanks, Nick. Oil control lotion is a really great moisturiser if you have oily skin and you need to put a moisturiser on prior to your foundation. I think we need a primer because okay, okay. Gemma's got slightly oily skin. She's got a few little pores, nothing much, Should but I on your hand? want it. To, yeah, please. I want the um, products to stick, stay put really well. Um, I might use a brush for this, Sam, yeah. if you don't mind. This is Urban Decay Pore Perfecting uh, Complexion Primer Potion. I really like this. I actually use it myself and it keeps my foundation on all day. That is pretty amazing, actually. I never use a primer on myself because I don't like them, and so I haven't tried this one, and it is lovely. It does make a massive difference. Yeah. Okay, foundation, please, Sam. Uh, Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation. Lovely. Now, as I said with Chi Chi about the using different colours, you can do that on any skin tone, and it does look lovely to do that, but we tend not to on the lighter skin tones because it's not so obvious that you need to. So I don't think you're going to, are you, Nick? No. And also, quite often, um, on lighter skin tones, you add the colour in later, so with a bronzer or with a um, contour, whereas with darker skin, it's more helpful to add it in first. Well, absolutely. If you don't, the skin would start off ashy. Now you're normally a double wear user, so I'd be interested to see what you think about um, this makeup for everyone. It's the one that Kim Kardashian used to wear, so it's quite a good coverage, but it's nice and flat, so it doesn't have a shine, but it's not as much as double wear. Now double wear is quite a heavy coverage, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah. Why do you? Why do you opt for that? Um, because I've got oily skin and right. I got fed up of other foundations coming off halfway through the day. Okay, got you. Do you like the coverage of Double Wear or do you feel like it's quite a lot? It, it feels a bit like a mask sometimes. Okay. But I've tried the, um, the light one. Yeah. And that's a little bit better. Sometimes I mix it with moisturiser. I think you'll like this then. Can I have a concealer as well? Sure, what colour do you want, Nick? Um, NW20 or 15? Oh, she's very in between the two. I'll give you both then. Yes, thank you. Or if you can look up for me. So I feel that Gemma's a little bit in between the two colours, so I'm going to mix them both together to crea create the perfect colour. But I would say, um, if you didn't want to buy both, she could get away with either. It's just I've got the luxury of having them both. Again, push it into the skin so you're not wiping anything away. Just dusting a tiny bit amount over the eyes just to give me a blank canvas. Right, let's powder that into place. Okay. Lovely, thank you. Makeup Forever HD powder. Lovely. 
As a rule, generally, we go one shade lighter with the powder. Um, you'll find if you go for exactly the same colour, gradually throughout the day it'll get darker. And again, just push it over the skin. Now, if you want more coverage, um, if you feel that this isn't enough, then you can, instead of using this powder, use MAC Fix Powder Foundation and it will just give a completely flawless blank canvas, which is really nice. Um, but I wanted a little bit of skin to still show through. So there you have the finished foundation. Hopefully there's something there for everybody. The product details are listed in the drop down box. And thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please thumbs up it. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment and all of that stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so you want a medium to full coverage foundation because you've got a bit of something to cover. I would try Illamasqua Skin Base because they go really pale. In fact, they go all the way up to a white. And what you can do with a white foundation is you can just buy that and mix it with any foundations that you've already bought and wasted your money on to make them much lighter.